Now we're going to come back and we're going to finish off with our pen. So this is now where our pen comes in. What we're going to do, you're going to need your yoga block as well. And like I said, you can do this seated on the ground or you could just throw your leg up on another chair and do this with your foot off the edge of a chair. This is, I struggled a lot to do this on my right foot. I used to be able to do this so easily and I'm so humbled now because I seem to have detrained and lost my, my ability to do this like I used to be able to. So this is good for me as much as it is for you guys. You're gonna take your pen, you're gonna place it under your toes, you're gonna grab it with as many toes as you can. Then you're gonna fight to not lose the pen as you go from a fully dorsiflexed ankle position to a fully plantar flexed or as far as you can plantar flex without dropping the pen like that. And we're just gonna make our way through a few reps of ankle dorsi and plantar flexion while trying to maintain that big toe flexion. So you gotta maintain some pressure into the pen and you're gonna train that flexion as you move your ankle. This is hard. Okay, take your pen in, place it under your toes, grab it, and then like I said, reduce the amount of ankle motion as much as you need to, to make sure you don't lose the pen. I'm probably gonna lose it, that's okay, you might too. We're gonna slowly come down into plantar flexion, and then we're gonna come back up into dorsiflexion, that's one. Slowly come back down, try to keep your knee straight as well if you can help it and back up. That's two. Whew. Back down. I'm so focused here. Back up. Oh, that one we got further, but I felt it cramp a little more. Back down for four. We've only got two more here. Don't lose the pen. Whew. Come back up. Last one here. Squeeze that pen. Try not to lose it. Foot's gonna come all the way down. Look at my foot shaking, and then all the way back up. I totally thought I was gonna drop that there. I'm surprised I didn't.